In this presentation, I'm just going to go through the very short steps on how to create an email and send it, starting from your Loyalist College homepage on the internet. So I've already got my Google Chrome browser open, and I'm already on the loyalistcollege.com website. Usually, if you're at the college, when you open up Google Chrome, this tab will pop up automatically. Otherwise, you can manually type in the email address here and just type in enter once you type in loyalistcollege.com at the top here. Okay, so once you're on the home page, we need to go through the My Loyalist portal, which is this button up in the upper right. So I'm going to click that now. And I've already logged in, so I'm getting straight to the page without having to log in again. You will have to log in if it's your first time logging in that day. Once I'm here, I'm going to go straight to my apps, which is this button right here. And in here, I will find the link to my mail client. And it's right here. Yours might be somewhere else, but it'll be in here somewhere. And it'll say mail, and you just click that. And what that does is it launches Microsoft Outlook inside of your browser, which is the uh, email system that the college is using. Now, typically, you'll see a column over here. Uh, with an inbox and a sent box and deleted items. And I've got some custom folders that I've built here. We can go through that on a later date. Um, but basically, this is your interface here. And depending on which box I have selected, I can see my outgoing mail and, of course, my incoming mail. To start a new email, we have this nice obvious button over here called New Mail. And I just have to click that. If I click the little arrow, I can see that I can create other elements as well, documents and events and so on. But I'm going to stick straight to the mail here. And it'll pop open a new empty window over here. So you need to at least have a recipient to send it to. And I'll start by just typing in one of my test email addresses called students at djolessons. Dot com And you may see hints pop up if you've previously used that email, but I typed the whole thing in anyway. I'm going to hit my tab key to enter that. Okay. Now, you should always have a subject line, which is what the recipient will see. As you can see over here, I have subject lines such as missing grades and so on, some of my school business here. Um, so I'm just going to type in uh, test email. And maybe I'll do a space and go zero one. 1. Okay, so that will be my subject line. So when whoever gets this, which will be myself anyway, I will have an idea of what this email is about. And in this case, I know it's a test email. Now down just below the line, it says type to insert files and more. I can click in there and I can start to type. So I can say, hello world, comma, nice to send you an email. Okay, kind of silly, but there you go. And all the best, comma. And you can see there my email signature is automatically populated because by default I have an email signature created. And we learned to do that on another lesson video. Okay, so very simple email. Once again, you initiate it. Make sure you have a recipient. Put a subject line in. Compose your email with words. Now, if I wanted to add pictures in here, I could do that as well. There's a few ways of doing that, but I could go up to Insert. And you see here we have pictures. Pictures, sorry. I can attach files. I can create links in my page. Let's just for fun create a link here. I'll say Create Link. And display as my link. So that will be the text. And I'll just say, uh, go to my DGO Lessons site, djolessons.com, click OK. And there you go. And once they get that, they can click on that, and it would go to that site. Now, of course, I can format that in here by clicking here and just returning that and putting it on a new line. I could even highlight and style it. If we go back here, format text, a lot of things we can do with respect to how our email is going to look and the content of our email. I'm not going to go through every one of these tabs right now, but you can see there are a number of them. There's a draw, and you can use these markers 
and draw on things. Insert again pictures. Let's insert one picture. I'll just go to the bottom here. I'm going to hit return or enter twice, which creates a new line and a new space. Every time you hit enter, it comes down to a new line. And I'm going to insert an image right where my insert cursor is flashing. So we'll go insert pictures. And I'm just going to grab this one. Let's see where we're at. Actually, let me go to my OneDrive. And let's see here. This might be a bit messy in here. You know what? I'm going to go to my local computer, to my desktop. And I have some images in here. And I'm just going to use one of these images here and click Open. And there you go. And there's an image of me appearing on Canada's Got Talent. <laughs> Anyhow, that is how you can include an image. That is how you can create a link. And you can see when you mouse over it, it does indicate what it's linking to. Again, if you're composing text, you can highlight the text. I guess I didn't actually do that. I'll go over to Format Text. And I can change what is called the font, which are groups of styles of text. And if I want to make it look more, a little more computery, this Aptos Mono definitely does that. I can make it bold. I can also make it italic. And if I want to undo those features while it's selected, I can also click on those icons. I can change the color of the text right here, as you can see. And when you mouse over it, it does give you an indication of what it will look like. That's purple text. And there are other formatting elements as well. I can create lists, for example, indentations, format, align left, center, right, and so on. Those are the basic high-level ele elements that you would possibly change with your text. Okay, so those are the basics, again, of composing an email. All I have to do now is click the Send, and mission is complete. Okay, and to confirm it, you'll see this until it is completely sent. And again, depending on the size of the email, will take seconds, not usually a minute, but it will take more or less time depending on the size of the email. So once that's done and it just left, I can double check in my sent items and confirm that it is a sent element. And this is what they will see at the other end. Hello world, purple text, a link, an image, and a signature. And that is how you can compose and manage some of the content within your email using Microsoft Outlook.